Well, it's a uh, set day, the 21st of January, uh, 2017, and uh, I've just snuck out for a ride. A little bit later than normal. Uh, it's now uh, 8.40, which is a couple of hours after I'd normally like to be up. <laughs> said it before but uh, it's worth reiterating that pretty lucky where we live <laughs> things I wanted to achieve by doing some vlogging was to try and just uh, I suppose decipher some of the language around physiology and biomechanics and, and training. Got questions that you want to ask me just whack it in the comment section below the video So I have this uh, colleague that I ride with during the week and uh, he continually reminds cyclists that there'll be no kudos given unless there's a coffee after the ride. Hi. Hello. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to focus in on the vlog was to make sure that uh, the scientific literature um, becomes more readily accessible by uh, you, the viewing public. So today, my focus on today's vlog is looking at maximal you know, endurance performance. So when focusing in on our um, endurance exercise performance, there are three interrelated factors that the scientists and physiologists say that we should consider when discussing how well a cyclist or an elite endurance athlete uh, needs to perform. So once again, performance uh, VO2 or performance O2, um, anaerobic uh, oxygen deficit, and then finally gross mechanical efficiency. Maximal oxygen consumption, integrative ability of our systems uh, to allow us to perform um, at our greatest capacity. Now, when we're talking about that, it's our ability to generate um, a high cardiac output to see um, an increase in our blood uh, hemoglobin, um, increase our blood flow. And what those two factors do is that it allows oxygen to be um, extracted and delivered to the working muscles. 
And then finally, it's also related to um, our ability for our lungs to oxygenate our blood um, during the exercise performance. Generally speaking, champion or elite athletes have VO2 maxes um, in the range of 70 to 85 mils per kilogram per minute of oxygen extracted. So the second factor related to um, performance VO2 max is our ability to uh, have what's called a lactate threshold. Um, whilst performing um, our high intensity exercise. Uh, the second factor that we need to also consider in our perf overall performance velocity or performance speed is that of what's considered to be our anaerobic um, capacity to contribute to our performance. Now, when we're focusing in on exercise, there's actually an interplay between the two energy systems. So efficiency or economy is basically talking about how well an athlete can maintain uh, their power or their velocity, um, if we're talking about running, at a given level of um, maximal oxygen uptake. That if you uh, really like the content that I'm producing, leave something below um, in the comment section. I'll try and sort of talk about that uh, in some upcoming vlogs or answer your responses. So thanks for watching. Go.